invisibility, hunger, and hurt. For the 58,000 LA residents that call the streets their home, these words are all too real. It's worse now than it was during the Great Depression. Homelessness is real, and its cycle needs to stop. You see, homelessness can't be changed with charity alone. What is needed is true systemic change, the kind of change that would give someone like Mary a real chance. For Mary, growing up wasn't about dance recitals or summer camps. It was about abusive relationships, foster homes, and fear of the men her mom brought home. Alcohol and drugs would numb her pain, and the streets would become her home. Life was okay for Mary until the day she was arrested and her three-year-old daughter, Sophia, was taken away. Then Mary came to us. I'm Irene Moodle, and I have the pleasure of serving as Executive Director of Whittier First Day. We stand for self-sufficiency and the opportunity to reinvent lives, and we're great at it. 95% of our participants that obtain permanent housing remain housed after one year. Our model is not just three hops in a cot. Don't get me wrong, these services are important, but real change comes with bringing an end to the cycles that perpetuate homelessness. Every day, First Day challenges these systems through CAP, our Community Angels program. CAP reinvents lives by reintegrating our homeless neighbors back into the community that they love. Through CAP, Mary was matched to local service projects where she would work alongside community members like Vicki. With food and shelter taken care of, CAP provided Mary with valuable work experience, increased self-esteem, and lower levels of depression. For the first time, Mary could begin healing and rewriting her personal story. Mary came to first day broken. CAP allowed her to leave self-sufficient, employed, and armed with resources, meaning she now has that same 95% chance of remaining housed permanently. To date, over 350 program participants in CAP, both homeless and housed, like Mary and Vicki, have provided over 7,500 hours of community service. Up until now, this has been largely a volunteer-led effort. We need your support to expand the reach of our Community Angels program. An investment of $100,000 will help us engage an additional 35 community members and multiply Mary's story 150 times. Speaking of Mary, because of CAP, she's housed and employed out in Long Beach. CAP provided her with employment, with self-sufficiency, and most importantly, with the network of support that will not let her fail. And here's the best part. She's reunited with her daughter, Sophia, and gained full custody. Thank you.